Hello to everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing a short uh, discussion on the topic of cardiac arrhythmia, which is the pathology of our heart and some conduction disorders. So, uh, this uh, cardiac arrhythmias are related to the, the pathologies which are related to the heart diseases. And first of all, before knowing the pathologies, we must know how the basic functioning of the heart actually works. So, heart is just a muscular organ that actually contracts to fill the uh, flow of the blood. Uh, blood and it occurs at a certain rhythm under the influence of electrical impulses which are present in the heart so there are nodes that is anatomy so yeah, that is a detail so for the basic you must know there is a rhythm which contracts the blood from atm to ventricles and further it goes to other organs so in that if there is any uh, problem or any violation then it leads to the arrhythmias or any cardiac pathologies so if there is volition to this rhythm uh, and the contraction leads to the various pathologies. So that is the basics here. Now what are the heart rhythm disorders? So in this arrhythmia in which a heart beats, actually the uh, how, how the year the heart beats in that there is abnormality. That is it can beat slowly or it can uh, beat very fast or it can beat irregularly. Irregular meaning it, but sometimes it can become slow or sometimes it can become fast. So that is the, actually the arrhythmia. There can be three possibilities. So first of all we have the first case is tachyarrhythmia. So in the case of tachyarrhythmia, there is increase in the heart rate and this heart rate uh, as you know the, the normal heart beat is 72 beats per minute. So in the case of tachyarrhythmia, it can go above 80 beats per minute. And the case of bradyarrhythmia, there is decrease in the heart rate and it can go below 60 beats per minute. And there are some other case of uh, arrhythmias which are called as supraventricular arrhythmia. Uh, and this is the pathology in which the rhythm of the heart is set by atrial or the uh, atrioventricular node that is the AV node and the fourth one is your ventricular arrhythmia it is a pathology located in the cardiac ventricles actually so this arrhythmia is related to your ventricles that is what's called as ventricle arrhythmia so these are the basic pathologies of their arrhythmias now we move on to the classification due to the occurrence of the cardiac arrhythmia there are some more classifications so first case is uh, due to the pathology of the sinus node that is the SA node in which we have sinus arrhythmias in which we have two pathologies that is tachycardia uh, with the meaning of the your heart rate is above your 80 beats per minute then case uh, case is called tachycardia and below 60 beats per minute then it is called bradycardia if the case is with a re replacement of your rhythm drivers like the pacemaker are implanted artificial pacemaker that can also lead to your cardiac arrhythmias so replacement of your rhythm drivers and third case can be the pathologies due to the improper transmission of the pulse to the myocardium okay so this is a layer in your heart myocardium middle layer so in that if there is pathology in the transmission of impulses so in that case we have some pathologies which are called as atrial fibrillation uh, excess stool and your ventricular fibrillation okay and fourth one is your atypical conditions means if there is any blockage in the av node or your bundle of his then these are there are some pathologies related to that that is av blockage bundle of his blockage left bundle branch blockage or right bundle branch blockage or there can be some premature stimulation of ventricles that is from uh, before your normal stimulation there can be some premature stimulation and that occurs in the case of some pathology which is called as wolf parkinson white syndrome so this is specific for this uh, syndrome that you will see the premature ventricle rhythm in this case so this was the basic classification now let's move on to some uh, statistics as we know 39 percent of all cases are cardiac arrhythmias the patients who are going to the cardiologist they are suffering from 39 percent of patients are of cardiac arrhythmia uh, okay cases are of cardiac arrhythmia in which the patients are suffering from atrial fibrillation intraventricular blockade av blockade most is atrial fibrillation after that iv blockade so it will decrease uh, decrease your decrease way of writing this so the most is atrial fibrillation intraventricular blockade atrial ventricular blockade atrial flutter and ventricular arrhythmia and after that other types of cardiac pathologies it can be about 0.3 percent other pathologies in this so most uh, uh, common pathology in uh, the patient who are suffering for arrhythmia are the atrial fibrillation which is related to your arrhythmia now what can be the causes related to your arrhythmia or so cardiac arrhythmia first the patient is having hypertension or any type of coronary heart disease okay future uh, that is the past any coronary heart disease or any type of cardiomyopathy or uh, the patient has gone through any previous heart surgery stenting or anything pacemaker implantation or the patient is suffering from endocrine disorder that is diabetes or any thyroid disorders thyroid gland and or stress uh, stress the patient is taking so that can be the cause also and some bad habits like your smoking alcohol abuse any type of medication extra medications obesity 
and sleep apnea problem in sleeping so these are the causes and there can be some causes which are related to your age related the old age people are more prone to this cardiac arrhythmias as the myocardium become weakens and there is poor nutrition to them also so that is also factor which can lead to your cardiac arrhythmia and there can be some congenital pathologies which can be by birth there can be some pathologies or any type of abnormality in your heart that can further lead to your case of arrhythmia as the age moves uh, forward now the uncontrolled self medication the person is taking the medication by his own like uh, laxatives diuretics patient is on asthma medication that can also has a side effect of leading to your cardiac arrhythmia on a longer duration of this medicines if there is a, if there is any lack or excess of electrolytes like k plus na plus magnesium calcium and these if this uh, electrolytes there is any lack or excess because they actually control your electrical conductivity or transmission of impulse so because of lack or excess this can also lead to your cardiac arrhythmia now specifically if a uh, patient is taking nicotine or caffeine he has the chances to get excess stool pathologies or uh, if he is taking alcohol in excess Uh, there can be the case of atrial fibrillation the most common cause of this arrhythmia most common pathology of cardiac arrhythmia the patient suffers now symptoms can be there can be strong heartbeat or uneven pulses there can be slow heartbeat also and excessive heartbeat also patient has fainting there can be the case of cardiac arrest you can see dyspnea shortness of breath and lack of air feeling the patient can have Uh, means he is not able to means he not able to breathe lack of oxygen uh, now pain in the heart area okay angina can be there pain in the heart area dizziness weakness fatigue and all the symptoms will be there in the patient you can see there can be darkening in the eyes also you can see so there are common symptoms you will see in this patient of cardiac arrhythmia what are the diagnosis you will do to confirm the patient is having uh, arrhythmia or not so first of all you will perform the ecg of the patient to see the all the waves of the ecgs or your heart impulse and then after that you can see ultrasound to check the heart the anatomy of the heart any abnormality in any part of your heart and you can do endocardial catheterization also to check any further histological or biopsy you can do for that further diagnosis so these are the instrument you will use and if you see the uh, basic image of your uh, you can see this diagram also this is the basic heart you can see these are atrial this is your atrium and this is your ventricles and from here your sa node then comes your av node after that your bundle of his and then the impulse are transmitted to your borders of your ventricles so these are the impulse and these are normal you can see normal electrical pathways these are normal ecg of your heart in this you can see pqrs waves are normal and if there is atrial fibrillation there can be abnormal electrical pathways you can see this and this diagram and the waves are going and impulses are going in different pathways and ecg you can also see this one okay so there can be a tachy arrhythmia or very high heart beat so this is the case of your atrial fibrillation so this pathology you will see in the case of ecg if the patient ecg is performed who suffers from atrial fibrillation now what we will do in the treatment so treatment uh, first of all if we uh, go with the medications we will give beta blockers okay beta blockers like propranolol atinolol all these are the medicine then k plus na plus channel blockers and multivitamins also if the patient has severe then we can go cardiac surgery in the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias okay so uh, this is done if the severe blockage occurs like sinus node weakened syndrome or bradycardia so first of all we use the defibrillator is implanted for the cause of fibrillation and the ventricular tachycardia in the case of fibrillation we use the defibrillator uh, this is a machine which used to pump your heart okay and second we can use the catheter ablation catheter ablation is most widely used method in this way we actually uh, damage the tissues which are causing the electrical abnormality of the impulse or transmission of impulse by doing an ablation catheter we will destroy the tissues in the scars and there will be formation of scar in the heart where there is uh, the tissue which is uh, doing the uh, abnormal abnormality or the problem in the pathway of your stimulus so in that area we will just do this ablation catheter and make that tissue damage or necrosis after the scar will be formed there so this is the case of your you can see in this diagram so af trigger site uh, at uh, Uh, you can see this this is a trigger side where ablation catheter is done and this is your diagnostic catheter so these are inserted in your heart and that area is actually uh, damaged okay so that is the most uh, widely used method and that comes your catheter coablation this is actually a local cooling your pathological pacemaker okay so this is a cooling is done and how to prevent this uh, arrhythmias you avoid smoking eat balanced diet little fat and minimum salt should be taken 
and have should have less stress over strain and we should do some physical activity also okay so this was arrhythmia thank you